Hello there, everybody. Uh, yeah, I was said I was gonna do Thieves Den for my next part, but I forgot. I think if you have 70 dragonflies, the the Ricto portal opens up for the in quotes final boss. Which I don't think I really would call it a final boss per se, just because it's not the final one. The final one is after you've collected everything in the game and fight it again. But I will show you what the first boss looks like, even though it's extremely similar to the, the final final one. But here I go. I don't want to, but... Oh, I didn't even know that had a bottom. Oof, I heard a thump. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hate any of the Ripto bosses in this. The first one and the last one. Because they're just so broken. Ripto's attacks, first of all, their homing capacity is too fucking good. Literally, the thing can do a 180. and Like, his little projectiles can do a 180 and still hit you. I swear to God, if the thing passes you, it can turn around and try to hit you again. That is not right. No projectile should do that. Unless it's like one in like, I don't know, I think Twisted Metal 4 is the only thing I can think of where projectiles could do that. But that's a totally different game. And that's with... with another thing, without the after hit invincibility, get you can get hit multiple times. Maybe I'll demonstrate it here. Why did he look bigger than normal? <laughs> oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, it's a purple dragon. You've caused me enough problems, Spyro. This time I'll take care of you permanently. Focus, focus. Yay. Now, with this boss here, you just... You just want to run as fast as you possibly can with your flurry Blast and keep hitting it. Because if he even gets one projectile shot at you, you're going to get hit almost every time. So just keep chasing it and do not let up. Just don't. Come on. See what I mean? The thing fucking takes a one fucking 80 and hits you. Ugh, can't stand that. I think it shows the credits, which I don't even know why. Yes, that boss looked incredibly easy, but trust me, it's, there's a lot more to it. <laughs> yeah, it does show you the credits, which I'm not going to show you until I actually beat the game. So I will just, I will pause the video here for now and show you later on uh, what that the Thieves Den, which I was originally planning to go to. No, uh, sorry. There was actually a couple more things I wanted to talk about before I. Uh, go on and that that ripto boss yes I guess is pretty easy and technically speaking you don't really need to get the other breaths to beat him just because he just puts up an ice wall but there's other there's a pretty much you just um, the hundred percent completion boss is pretty much like that one except there's a couple more gimmicks and then a f and then an after final boss after him Which, um, which definitely is a big pain in the ass. It really is. Just because I'd say that boss is very broken. And what I really don't understand is, is since you just have to fight Ripto himself, then why the hell is like Gulp and Crush even in the freaking game just for like cosmetic purposes to show how much Ripto is a badass or something? But then he doesn't even use them at all. I, mean, I, I really don't get it. I thought he would. I thought you would have to face Blom all of them. But I guess if they had more worlds, like home worlds, then you could. But no, there's only one effing world in the entire game. And as a result of that, we get only one boss. I wouldn't really even consider the boss I just did to be a real boss. I honestly think it's like a, it's just a taste of what, of what the upcoming freaking boss is. 
It's like a free sample. You did it! Wow! You're even shiftier than me! That's enough magic to make this car fly up and away! Hop aboard! Alright, uh, sure. Alrighty. What I never understood though is like why why like why for this thieves den or whatever, why are we suddenly helping thieves? I thought like the point of Spyro was to kill thieves and then steal their treasure. But now we're helping a thief? Yeah. Even a hero's tale got that right with the thieves are actually bad. Although there's thieves in this game too, but still. You don't have you don't have the na 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 na, -na voice for a guy that's good. You just don't. Um, really not much else to talk about except for maybe the Ripto boss. But I mean, he does have a final form, which is a bo uh, an additional boss to that. Which that final form is so broken. That's the that's the area where you can get hit multiple times. But anyway, enough about that boss. We'll get to it when we get to it. For now, we are gonna take care of this. Can I get over there? No, I cannot. Never mind. That's the um. That's a different spot entirely. Yeah, I can't reach that. This is actually a fun level too. I, I do like this level a lot. The only reason why I do is because of the, the fake gems and the fake gem containers. And I'll show you why. Come on, talk with Inspiro. There you go. The Riptop Wizards have turned our treasure into monsters. Can you do anything to help us? Like for example, um, the uh, yeah, yeah. See. What do you have to say this time? Alright, this is like the only time where you, they, you, you are told to use your windshield to do something. Oh yeah, the, the gem that, uh... the gem that runs away from you. Now there's a there's a really big way to tell them apart so you can distinctly tell them apart. You know how like you know how all the gems in the spiral game just rotate, right? They they spin when they're on the ground. Well Yeah. Um, uh yeah, sure. <laughs> really? Come on. Aim right, Spyro. And how the hell did that miss me? Good. Anyway, you know how all these gems spin in a clockwise motion, right? This one, the bad ones spin in a counterclockwise motion if you look close enough. Come on, stop walking. Alright, yeah, see, see it? It's spinning left uh, in a counterclockwise motion. That's how you can tell them apart. Now there's also fake gem containers, which are a slightly light, lighter color than the average ones. This one, this is it right here. And when they try to run away from you. I just find that kind of amusing. <laughs> wow, fail. How does that miss it? I guess you just have to be a certain distance away from them. I un I mean, let me think. I think those enemies, those with those uh, wizards, are the only enemy in the entire level. I'm not sure though. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty positive that that's the only enemy in the entire level. Although I think. I think the data explains that the, the fake gems and the fake gem containers are count as enemies. Which are pretty damn stupid because they don't attack them, so they wouldn't really be counted as enemies. But I guess the, the gem thieves consider them to be enemies. They call them monsters, so yeah. I 
Okay, that's 800 gems. <laughs> <laughs> they, they laugh if you hit them. It's pretty funny. So funny. That'd be kind of funny. I think I got the gem for that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of lame. I mean, this is, it's a pretty massive, pretty massive level, and yet there's like no any, no like hard enemies. You know what I mean? This is considered the second to last level in the game, or the seventh out of eight. Home roll doesn't count. <laughs> So yeah, I think... <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much it for enemies, just those wizards, which, I mean, if as long as you have the wing shield and flight in use while you're near them, then you can't get hurt. Wow, that's a, that's pretty bad. Yeah, because even at, on it, actually, even after you, uh, even after, even after you've collected all the gems or whatever, or exit an area and come back, you, the the fake gem things come back. So yeah, I guess they're considered enemies. Pretty shitty enemies. But... Well, shitty in terms of they, they shouldn't count as enemies. Alrighty, let's try aiming this way then. There we go. So you just have to keep a certain distance and then you should be able to hit them. If you're too close, then you won't be able to hit him. He'll just like deflect in a weird way and totally miss the target. Yeah. So this, besides the, I think the hardest part is these are the spinning axes and the, and the sub challenges too. Um. Oh well, it's pretty, pretty uh. Well, I miss that. Alrighty, gotcha. So far we haven't really encountered any glitches. Could this be the one video that doesn't glitch? I wouldn't, I wouldn't counter any of the Ripto stuff as glitches. That's just bad programming. I know, I understand that enemy, uh, even boss projectiles are supposed to home in on you, but not like that. That is ridiculous. That is like not even fair in any way, shape, or form. Alright, this dragonfly doesn't seem to be going to move either. Hey, it's Charlie. I had it. it. I actually, last time I played this game, I actually. The... Oh, just as I say, there's not going to be any glitches. Look at that. I'm inside the gen uh, the container. Yep. There you go, Spyro. There's always some sort of glitch. Alright, so look, I keep jumping. I'm still in it. Well, there you go. You ruined the non-glitching streak. Uh, I uh, For the longest time, I... Get out of my screen, thank you. Uh, for the longest time, I kept forgetting that that uh, wall was a breakable one because it, that's I think that's like the only break up the only cracked wall that you can charge in the entire game. So up to this point in the game, you wouldn't think you would find a cracked wall that you would charge. So that's why I didn't think of it. But now that I since I played this game recently before this let's play, I remember that it's there. And there's the, uh, shit, there's a challenge game. Do I have time to do that? If this is the challenge I'm thinking of, I may not. Oh, wait. There's a speedway here, though. Ew. I don't know if this is the speedway challenge. If it is, I won't have enough time. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Don't ask. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, there's another challenge gate right there. Wow, there's two of them right next to each other. Holy crap. Yeah, 
this. If I go inside that challenge gate and come back, those gems, those uh, bad guy gems will come back too. And they won't drop another gem. They'll just disappear after you kill them. Alright, I think this is, I don't think this is the speedway. I'm gonna just take a guess. If I'm wrong, then I'll just do the speedway then and I'll just end it there. Alrighty. Alright, yeah, so this is not, alright, this is what I thought. Yeah, just as I thought, this is not the, uh, the, pardon me, this is not the speedway, this is a different challenge, which this one can be just as tedious. I don't like any, I really do not like any of the challenge, the challenge gates in, in these, uh, in this level at all. The actual level itself I like, because it's pretty piss-ass easy, but the challenges, holy shit, they are just annoying. Especially this one. This one, you could so easily fail. There's a shit lot, there's a shitload to do, and if you fall off once, you have to start all over again. How high are you taking me? Yeah, it'd be nice if I could get up there. <laughs> but I can't. Alright, there we go. Yeah, there's no... It's not like the one in Crop Circle Country where you can just keep, like, jumping from the same platform to the same one again. It's not like that at all. The music's kind of interesting, though. I wouldn't consider it Spyro music, but I do kind of like it. I don't know why, just for some reason I do. I'm a very, very weird person. Another thing that that the, that this challenge is is boring, and that could be a re that could be a good reason why you fail it, because you're like, yeah, I'm falling asleep doing it, and then you don't realize, oh shit, I've oh, I just missed the jump. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I get, I get the whole concept. You have to, it's all about how well your gliding skills are. And I already hit this one, but the one over here, I did not. I uh, did hit that one. Alright. Now, now... I need to jump onto that one right there. I think there may be only two of these type of platforms in that row. Let me... Uh, nope, there are three. Okay. It's now I know. Whoa, that was scary. Um... Alrighty. We're just about done here. Hopefully I don't fuck up, because I really would do not just don't want to do that. And those platforms are moving the opposite direction now, I notice. Now this may take a little while longer just because that it's going the other direction. Why does it seem like those are going faster now? Really? Oh, this is annoying. Okay, now this one, this row seems like it's moving faster. Yeah, now that, okay, that row's moving, like, stopping completely now. Okay, good. Uh, that... Oh, man. This is so boring. I'm just praying to God I just do not fuck up this challenge. I really do not want it. Oh, jeez. This is such, this is so scary. <laughs> 
I mean, the way this platform is moving, it's moving forward, so it's kind of hard to... Uh, I'm gonna try to jump. Alright, there we go. Now... I think there's only two of these really tall staircase-like platforms. Good Spyro. <laughs> and I think there's only... I want to try to glide over there, but I just do not trust this game. I think that may be the only thing I, need to, I can do. Uh, really? Of all times to glitch through a platform, why now? So now I have to do all that shit over again. Uh-oh! Platform Really tricky, really glitchy is more like it. Uh, so now you have to make, now you're gonna have to watch another five boring fucking minutes of me doing this shit again. You may skip this part if you wish. <laughs> you might as well. It's already exceeding 20 minutes. That's one thing I can't stand about this, this challenge, is that it's, t it's fucking long. And if you fail once, you just have to do all that shit over again. Hmm. And the fact like that I fucking glitched through that platform is bullshit. Like, I, I touch, I was on the edge, and then all of a sudden Spyro decides, hey, you know what, I want to go ghost now and go through the floor. Nice. I didn't even mean to do a dive, but whatever. <laughs> ah, jeez. There was almost another glitch. Decided just to flop around on the freaking platform. <laughs> nope, not enough. I figured I'd try. <laughs> This. Alrighty then. We should get rid of those top ones first. Really? You fucking go through it. That was it were in between, I should say. But really, what are the fucking odds of that? I mean, in a second, I'm gonna fucking skip this challenge. This is, this is one of the most annoying challenges in the fucking game. Not, it's not really the fact that the platforms are just, just hard to maneuver with the sloppiness, but the fact that it takes too long to do this, and if you fail, you have to fucking take, like, 20 minutes of your valuable life and just say goodbye to it. It's not even worth it. This is the last challenge I've completed in this game for, to get my first 100% completion, and you can see why. Because it's just broken. I mean the pat the um the pattern of these 
of what you would call of these of these platforms is not even like oh good. The, the the pattern of these platforms are not even like how do you even say it? They only go in like a pattern, really. It's like obscure. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do the first time, but apparently I didn't do it right. Oh, okay. So now, all of a sudden, these platforms are not even moving in the same direction those ones are. Since when? It would have been nice if that happened last time. That way I wouldn't have to freaking try to make that tricky glide. And this one's going to be a half an hour video, which is what I wasn't trying to intend, but I have no choice now. I have to freaking try to make it like that. And the only thing that's going to suck is me trying to glide down to those ones. So it's not going to end pretty, that's for sure. It's probably going to end in another failure. Actually, no, maybe not. Good. Let's get that out of the way. Hello. Thank you. I wonder, can I just hit... Whoa, let's not do that again. <laughs> Screw it, I'll get those later. It's not important right now. It's not worth trying to kill myself over it. Then. I don't know why it took so many attempts to try to do it, but... Yeah. If it didn't work when I was right next to it on that other one, what makes me think it's gonna work when I'm like 10 feet away? It's not like the electric breath in the, um... It's not like the electric breath in a hero's tail. That thing can travel a mile. Well, not a little mile, but it feels like it compared to this game. There we go. Okay, now we're making progress. I think that was the last one in this row. Yes, it was. I can tell that was flashing. Now the only ones left is the, 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 the three that are right there, which once again travel at the most weird patterns. They don't even like go in, like, in a circle. Well, that's a lie. They do go in a circle, but it's not... They don't stay at the same speed or direction. They can sometimes go really fast in one direction and then they can stop and go to a different direction. I don't even know what the point is for those other, like... I don't even you know, understand the point of those other... whatchamacallit... Things. those other platforms on the bottom there. It's like no point in using them. I guess it's just to make the stage look cooler. Oof. That's one thing that in this game that sucks is platforming anything. Alright, Spyro, for the love of God, just do not die right now. We have one more of these fucking things left to electrify, and that's it. And we have to jump those stairs and go get that stupid rip talk or whatever the hell he is. And once again, I'm gonna have to sit here for like a good minute. Like, this is not necessary. Why do we have to fucking sit here and wait for that platform? It is just a waste of time. Like, really, they, the only way for me to get over there is to wait for that platform to eventually come this direction. Why don't they just move, like, counterclock or the opposite direction to this way this one's going? And just stay that way. Alright, so maybe, uh, maybe finally we can get this one. Alright, good. I think now that plot. Is it? Yep, there it goes, finally. So now. I think it stays up there, though. Yeah, so now we're gonna have to jump these stairs. Yay, fun, fun. 
Oh my god, Sparrow, you almost gave me a fucking heart attack. Good. Do not go ghost, I swear to god. You're not the ghost dragon type. Leave that to Giratina. <laughs> like, I am like shaking. I do not want to fuck up any of these jumps right now. I just don't. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's over. It's over, finally. Yay. What skill? I can't believe you made it to the wizard. <sighs> hey, it's Morpheus. Morpheus? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Want to try the platform puzzle again? Why? I, 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 this is a good, uh, like, this, give me a good reason to try that again. Really. Unless, like... Come back any time! Unless, like, you enjoy going insane or something, but there's no fucking point in trying that again, let alone one time. Ugh. Alright, I'm ending the video here. It's exceeded a half hour, which I didn't want to do, but you can see how much of a bitch that challenge is. It is fucking ridiculous. Yes, there is some platforming in a Spyro game. Not, not annoying platforming like that. Fucking annoying. Hopefully they... There's a reason why shit like that wasn't in the first three days. See you next time. <laughs>